yeah, it's disappointing because we, we, we haven't really been conceding goals like that in games like we've been 3 0 down uh, for a long while. Uh, it was a bit surprising because we were playing well as well. So but yeah we've just we've seen the bits and we felt we was well in the game. Even if we'd have been been beat 3 0, we'd have been we'd have looked at him for how have we been beat like 3 0 but we got the goals and I think we fully deserved maybe something out of the game but yeah we maybe need to defend a bit better as a team and then if we keep creating the chances then I think yeah it'll be a good game. Obviously, listen, they've got McGinn up front who's scoring goals. Um, but I, th- I think, listen, I've said all along, I think everybody fit. Aberdeen's probably got the second best squad um, in the SPL behind Celtic. Obviously, they've had a, quite a few injuries to, to contend with, but um, they've got a few people come by. Lad Hughes is decent midfield, Osborne, um, Ray, good experience. You know, they've got Hayes as well, which is another decent player. So, listen, they've got good players and, and they've got a good mix between experience and youth and. Um, so we know it'll be a tough game. We probably produced our two worst performances against Aberdeen. So um, obviously that's an incentive for the boys to, to, to obviously try and put that right. Uh, yeah, it'll be a tough game. Um, they've, they've probably had the better of us. Well, they have had the better of us to beat us so, um, twice this season. And I don't think our performance has been good in, in both games. So first and foremost, we need to, we need to put in a performance that sort of we can, we, can be like, um, we can be proud of really and hopefully we can get the result. Um, not great. Um, obviously, we have, we have Gaz Miller's going to be out. Um, Andos, um, still best case scenario, a couple of weeks away from fitness after his little uh, clean up on his knee. So um, we're, we're pretty much stretched. We have, that's the reason why we brought Michael Dockley in. Um, QPR have kindly let us have him to the end of the season. He can play, you know, two or three different positions across midfield and. Obviously, we, we've got a few little issues with Murray and Chris Miller as well. So, um, on top of Jamie Adams and, 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 and Davy Robertson being out for, out for the season, um, Kevin Moon's injured. So, you know, we, we have we have we've got quite a few issues in, in, in centre midfield. So, um, that's the reason why we brought him in. Um, just to just to keep just to play as many games as I can and just to try and affect the game. Like I feel I feel I have been the last few weeks. I've been happy. Um, Sort of been playing in different positions and sort of move around and stuff, but that don't really bother me. I just want to, you know I mean, I feel that like I'm getting fitter and I want to play the games, and the rest will come, I think. Yeah, I think, listen, we knew what we, what we were getting. We're delighted to get Richie, it's no two ways about it. Um, we knew that, that, that you know, he's got leadership, so he's he got goals on him from midfield, which I've said with obviously Liam um, going to pastures new at the end of the season, it's they're very few and far between, and you know. It, they show you how valuable they are. You know, Liam got eight goals last season. He's well on his way to getting that again. So you know that that that'll be a miss from midfield. We're, st- we're still writing amongst it, like Gaffer just said. We've been beat twice off of Aberdeen, but if we beat them tomorrow, we go above them in the league again. Um, and you keep you looking at that the f- second and third place, and then then places aren't out of reach. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to go on a run. Um, if it's a little bit of luck we need, or you win by the odd goal, uh, maybe it's that. But um, no. If it's, it, it's got the potential to be a really good game tomorrow, and um, if, if we if we start on the front foot and we we're attacking like we did at the end, like you're saying, it's Motherwell. I think it'll be all right. Yeah, David. Obviously, your club captain. You know, Mr. Consistency. Delayed it that that, that that's done, and um, obviously Fraser's extra years kicked in. Um, so we're hoping we get a couple more done before um, you know the window shuts.